You are listening to Tobias Kram, and I am going to explore the so-called rule of the octave, or regola dell'ottava, by drawing the graph from scratch that you are looking at right now in a series of clips. The blue circled figures mean the scale degrees of any diatonic major scale. I will be playing the notes of such a scale with my left hand on a spinet, small harpsichord whereas with my right hand I will add upper voices, meaning notes in intervals above each bass note that correspond to the framework of the rule of the octave as it is outlined in many collections of rules or regole from the Neapolitan Partimento tradition. I invite you to listen to the harmonies that result from the one, two or three upper voices sounding together with the bass notes, and also to pay attention to the direction of the walking or sometimes jumping bass line. I choose a scale. Scale degree 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Jumping from one to five. And back from five to one. Now from one to five, I could add and back another voice these two voices together voices flipped Still another voice. All voices. Now many variations. Walking from one to three and back. Now parallel thirds. And back. Another voice. works the other way around. Thirds and that voice combined. Even. Also with Such a voice. Or
Walking from three to five. And down from five to three, which will be not the same. So now up from three to five. Parallel thirds and otherwise. The voices together. So more complex to result in a richer harmony could be and otherwise and yet another voice. The voices together. On going down, it's not the reverse, but you can do a third. Now the third stays to become the tritone. The tritone resolves to six. Another voice starts on the octave, stays, becomes the third. The two together. And if you start on the fifth, you could stay, become a sixth, resolve to or go on to six or go to octave. Listen especially to what is happening between five and four. You literally can stay with your right hand, produce this really nice dissonance, resolve again to consonants. A special feature of the rule of the octave is if you jump or walk down from four to one. Or So jumping down could be or basically connecting two root chords. Walking down is easy by parallel thirds again. Or starting on the fifth, stay, become a sixth, parallel, resolving to octave. Or with the suspension. Now walking down from one to seven to six, to five. Jumping down or walking jumping up from five to one or walking up so what did I do? parallel thirds another voice here is a special moment it's a major six that resolves to octave. On walking up again, 
minor 6, which is the note that belongs to the original scale. I could add here on the way back. I don't add this, but I add here the tritone, the diminished fifth. Actually, that voice should resolve to third. So I'd like to add here a little pattern. Jumping down from 1 to 6 and walking down to 5. It's just the same as in the walking from 1, 7, 6 to 5, but... If I add more voices... One last detail is stepping down from 1 to 7 and from 7 to 1. So if I go on the octave, I have to move up with my voice, not to create parallel octaves. The third can go parallel or it also could do and back. The fifth can stay. So combinations of these would be or now the graph from the beginning of this video is complete again. I'd like to add one little thing. Up to now I just played the left hand on its own, the bass notes, and added one, two, three upper voices in the right hand. So this basically results in left hand one note, for example, right hand three notes. If I walk up from from one to three, I could play like that. So what happens if I played the middle of the three voices in the right hand, which was... If I played that voice an octave lower, actually in the left hand, the result is... The same works if I start like that. Again, that one, that voice, an octave lower, and all voices together.